Welcome back everybody. Last time we got ourselves our Quark vid comic and uh, Quark regained his memory. It's Wolf of Allen. Now we're going to Annihilation Nation. The introduction... It's a lot like the arena combat from Ratchet Clank 2, but it adds like a death horse. As opposed to arena combat. I think this is the only game in the actual Ratchet and Clank series that features death courses. Most of the other games still do like the arena battles and stuff like that, but I don't think they have death courses. Alright, let's meet our first contestant. He's an unemployed rocket mechanic who claims to have saved two galaxies, but most people know him as Secret Agent Clank's bumbling chauffeur. He hopes that disguising himself as a Tyranoid will make him more attractive to the ladies. Hey, give a warm welcome to Ratchet! Ratchet will attempt to be the first contestant ever to survive the Death Force. Contestant number one, are you ready? Bring it on. All right. There's the death course. Nothing fancy. Oh man, this job is too much. Oh, yeah, uh, all right. So once you get to here, press the button. It, it acts like it's random, but it's actually not. It always happens. It always sends you in the same direction. And this one. Don't walk off. Or I can just walk right off. Always good. Death Course Challenge. Let's do this. Come on. I keep forgetting you gotta step on the damn green thing. And we're gonna go left again. Yeah. It's always gonna be the same. There's no randomness to the whatsoever. It's kind of a disappointing. Like, you do get to go the other direction, but the. I don't know why my camera keeps turning like that. You do get to go on the other directions, but on only on different courses. The other thing I hate is it doesn't. The target kind of stays in the same place when you're jumping, so I keep thinking you have to compensate for it, but you don't. Take care of that guy right now. Ooh, that was close. One thing you'll notice is that the. Uh, There we go. That the um, the blasters there they ricochet. I think that happens once you level it up once. Let's try the infector. Yeah, you gotta hit it multiple times if you want to destroy it. Also, uh, the continue point is pretty much right from the start of the battle, so if you die, you gotta start over again. Oh, hey, look, we get a second one already. Oh, I won't be playing that one anytime, not for a bit. Uh, Alright. Now we face off with arena combat. There's nothing different from the uh, last game. Although, uh, I don't think. 
I think you get very little experience. I don't know. Let's see. 137. 145? Okay, so I guess you do kind of get a little experience. I guess you do get experience. Hold this out. So we're at 160. 162. My controller will stop that. So I didn't get much experience, but I did get some. Uh, suck cannon. The cheap man's rocket. The only problem is, his ammo can be a bit scarce. These things remind me of those enemies on Ninja Turtles 2. The ones that come out, uh, I forget which level it is, I think it's the 5th level or 6th level. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I know. Oi, 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 come on. Oh, oh god. Ah, stop coming up behind me. I don't know how to make this any more exciting to watch. I, I really don't. I mean, for me, it's fun to play, but I uh, can't imagine doing arena combats are very fun to watch. I think I got like two increases in one one arena here. Two nanotech increases. Oh, there we go. So we won. I don't believe it, folks. He survived the death force. Nah, it's just another day. Yeah, I wonder who they're making fun of. How about that, folks? He is better looking. Do not be alarmed, Sasha. That is Ratchet. Oh, I see you won the Terror Guys. It's very convincing. Anyway, there's something I think the two of you need to see. Work personal log entry 101301. After I personally vanquished the protopet menace and revamped the Megacorp testing facility, I decided to focus my efforts on protecting the endangered creatures of the Florana jungle. But when news arrived that Dr. Nefarious had again risen to power, I knew where my true destiny lay. The training necessary to get back into tip-top shape has been exhausting, and my mind overflows with brilliant concepts. Do I still yearn for the bittersweet stench of my simian companions? <sighs> the time has come to resume my duties as the greatest hero the galaxy has ever known! Captain Quark! Captain Dork. Anyways. You're not gonna believe this, but the president put Quark in charge of the fight against Nefarious. Our new commander just called his first team meeting. You better get back to the Phoenix right away. I agree. This does not sound good. <sighs> All right. You can do some more death courses. I'll do this one. I don't want to start the next section just yet, so we'll do a couple of arena combats. I mean, if I didn't have this armor, this would probably be somewhat threatening, but 
do have the armor on, and they're only taking out like one uh, nanotech per hit, so I'm not really scared or anything. Oh, electric plates. The only problem with the. There's interior eyes. The only problem with the uh, plasma whip is it like the wrench it moves you. Come on, die all you. What a what looks like? I didn't hear what he said there. I have my headphones turned down really low so I don't get an echo. Now, I don't know. I, I think the Infector gains experience if the enemies you infect kill other enemies, but I'm not positive. Ooh, Bastard leveled up to level 3. Hey, you'll notice that the, uh, the ammo increased from 175 to 200. I mean, that's, that's about what happens is you get different little stat upgrades. You can also get stuck in the, when those plates are flipping around. You can get stuck in those. It doesn't like you don't get stuck to the point where you you can't get out. Of, you phase through the plate if you get hurt. But well, if you're standing on it, and it drags you under. It can be kind of annoying and it will hurt a bit. Guys, all of you. I don't know if the charged up takes up anymore. Oh my god, it's a freaking death globe. Get away from me, get away from me. Oh, a shaved Lombax. I don't know what does a shaved Lombax look like. Oh, you meant me. Uh, I could just get that ammo. I can just get that. Oh, we won anyways. I could just get that Inferno and I'd take like no damage. Well, let's do a death course here. New ones will open up as you do them, so... I believe this is one's gonna take us to the right this time. Yep, to the right. Uh, N60 Storm. So notice that things change a bit. If those things would get the hell out of my way, I wouldn't have such a fear of crossing that. Get out of my face, you stupid camera. You can get a skill point of you for destroying ten cameras. There you go. Ooh, can't pass up bolts. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Oh, wait. Oh. There's a certain one to get the gold, to get the uh, platinum bolts in this. Uh, there's one down there. One up there. Hmm. Don't think I have the item to get those, though. Oh, here comes the cyber ninjas we saw in the intro. There's a special thing you can get with your, your skills where you can get like the laser dual swords they get. That's all there is to this.
Another death course. More money. Rinse and repeat. Thank you, sir. Oh, I had 36. 54. Well, anyways. I'm going to end it there for today, folks. So, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.